Hi, I'm Travis McCutcheon with On Floor Technologies. We're coming to you from our training center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I thank you for joining us for our first episode of On Floor Fast and Easy Tech Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to change the belts in the On Floor 16 and 20 inch machines. We're going to use our fancy little uh, display system that we created for our training center here in Tulsa uh, at eye level uh, so you get a good visual on how to remove the belts and how to replace them. What you can expect to get out of this video is how are belts broken, how do we prevent belts from getting broken, and how do we replace belts. So how do, get, how do belts get broken? The number one reason I would say would be related to studs that we find in the floor studs uh, left behind from a tool, a uh, piece of equipment that's been bolted down to the floor or a wall that's been bolted down to the floor. Uh, these are usually larger than three eighths of an inch round and create a d damaging impact to the tool. Uh, the other reason, the next reason um, how belts get broken would be related to cracks and or expansion joints that have a rise that's greater than an eighth of an inch. That's gonna create a real heavy impact. The third reason how belts get broken would be putting too much weight on the machine in an effort to remove something really difficult or you know just grinding a really deep grind. Um, so how do we prevent belts from getting broken? The number one reason would be inspect the job. So if you walk the job make sure you don't have any studs um, and identify those areas uh, in the cracks and or the expansion joints that have a rise more than an eighth of an inch and plan to grind that rise, that high side of that crack or expansion joint. And then the third way to prevent belts from getting broken would be keep dust out of this inner bowl chamber. How do you do that? We simply connect a vacuum that provides uh, adequate CFM and number two, clean this chamber out periodically. So now I'm going to go through the process of showing you step by step how to remove the belts and then reinstall them. Um, first, you've got to remove your tool plates. Our tool plates are very simple to remove with the on-floor patented system. And our tool plates come with four grommets that are replaceable grommets. So you simply remove the bolt in the front, pull the grommets, and replace them. Next, we're going to remove the dust cover. We have a clear dust cover here for demonstration purposes. Um, this dust cover has in either machine case you have got nine quarter 20 bolts that require a 716 socket to remove. So get that dust cover off of there and then the next step would be to remove the belt retainer plates. Now to remove these 716 bolts on either machine I like to use a breakover if I don't have a drill. The reason why I like to use the breakover is so you can break the bolt and then unscrew it like a screw. It's a lot faster, a lot easier. So we'll take all of those off at once. And the first thing you have to remove to get the belts off is this retainer plate. So this belt retainer plate is new. Um, we've had these out for about a year now. If you've got an older machine, you can buy an upgrade kit for these retainer plates. And removing that belt retainer plate with the new one is just simple. So it's got a keyhole system. You simply turn that to the bigger hole after you've taken that hex bolt out, and away comes the plate. Compared to the old ones, huge time saver. As long as you can mine the hole. The next step in removing the belts will be to remove the outer belt first. So we call this the lower belt. This is the mid belt, and this is the high belt, and that's because they're in sequence here. So to remove the belt, you simply put your finger behind that belt and turn the pulley. Or in the 16-inch machine, because this uh, connection here is a lot closer, you may need to get a screwdriver put under the belt, simply pull the belt up and roll it off of the pulley. And we'll take one belt off at a time. 
using that same technique. And there the belts are off very fast, very easy. At this moment, it would also be very wise to check your bearings. So you can just grab either side of the pulley and check for play in the bearings in these pulleys. And then we're going to reinstall the belts. So reinstalling the belts, we're going to do it in reverse order. Of course, the high, medium, and then the low. If you did it any other way, you couldn't get all the belts on. So we're going to wrap that belt around the center pulley first, and then wrap it around the back side of the outer pulley. And then simply twist the pulley until it rolls on. You'll need to push that belt onto the pulley so that you can get your belt retainer plate back on without any issues. And we'll go to the next one. Now in the 16 inch, on the 16 inch machine, because these are in closer proximity, you may need some extra torque to turn the pulley to get the belt on. So I'll demonstrate that here. You just simply take your screwdriver and put it in between the pins and roll the belt on. And then again, you're going to push the belt onto the pulley before you put the belt and finger plate on. And go to the next one. Again, putting the belt on the center pulley first. And then rolling the belt on. Again, on the 16 inch machine, you may need torque like I'm using the screwdriver for here in between the pins. Get the belt up onto the pulley, your retainer plate on, and then put your hex bolts in. Reinstall your dust cover, and you're done. So, thank you for joining us today for our first episode of On Floors Fast and Easy Tech Tips. If you uh, got some information out of this video today that's helpful for you, um, we invite you to hit the like button and the subscribe button below.